Sandra Bullock was spotted at Warner Bros. Studios, looking like she's back to work four months after the death of her longtime partner, Brian Randall. On a chilly Monday, Sandra Bullock made a serious impression when she was seen emerging in Los Angeles. She was seen getting out of her car at the Warner Bros. lot wearing business attire, giving the impression that she was going somewhere professional. The actress hasn't been in a movie for a long. Her most recent releases were The Lost City and Bullet Train, both in 2022. The 59-year-old Academy Award winner looked stunning in an elegant black blazer that matched her luscious dark hair. She wore purple-tinted butterfly sunglasses to block out the California sun, and her naturalistic makeup brought out her signature features. Four months have passed since the tragic death of her longtime partner Brian Randall, who was 57 years old, and her most recent sighting. After fighting amyotrophic lateral sclerosis covertly for three years prior to his death, Brian passed away on August 5th. In May 2020, he and Sandra were spotted out together for the last time, with him driving a car in Los Angeles. Shortly after his passing, his family confirmed his illness in a statement that they sent to People magazine. After a three-year battle with ALS, it is with great sadness that we share that Brian Randall passed away peacefully on August 5th, the statement read. Those of us who cared for Brian did our best to honor his early request to keep his journey with ALS private. The statement went on, We are incredibly appreciative of the amazing nurses who became our roommates and the tireless doctors who traveled this illness journey with us, frequently sacrificing their own families to be with ours. They signed the statement, His loving family, and said, At this time we ask for privacy to grieve and to come to terms with the impossibility of saying goodbye to Brian. Sandra first met Brian, a professional photographer, in 2015 when he photographed her son Louis' fifth birthday celebration.